By the way, yeah. I've got a couple of fan questions for you. Oh, really? Um, so I figured what, what, what <laughs> I'll it do. Grigor? It's Grigor, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> but I figured what I would do is I would just, we'll do a question um, okay. and then we'll talk about it and then we'll, whatever. Then I'll throw another one in later. So let's do a little questions from fans here. Questions from fans. Um, and I have not heard these yet, actually. So are these for real? I don't think these are real. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm serious. This is the I, I it doesn't I don't always get questions from fans, but um, <laughs> I already love this guy. Uh, this is from uh, Rex. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello there, Paul. Uh, this is Rex the Tex uh, from Arkansas. And uh, I, have, uh, I have a question for you about this so-called job you have. And uh, I say that because there ain't no way in hell that painting hot chicks all day and night is work. Shit. I'd pay good money to do what you do. We can switch jobs if you want. <laughs> Walmart has great benefits. Yeah, shoot, there I go again. Just rambling on. I almost forgot to ask my question. Um... <clears throat> Uh, so here goes uh, my question. Uh, are you into feet? I mean, are you a foot kind of guy? And the dirtier, the better? Like, what's your thing, man? Like, what kind of thing brings you to Pleasure Town? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Rex the Tech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a butt guy. <laughs> Don't care much for feet. Um, and I appreciate all the people that work at Walmart. <laughs> it's a hard job. Hard job. <laughs> oh man! So not a foot guy that doesn't do no, it for you. No. I, I recently uh, was listening to. Uh, do you know what Kill Tony is? Yeah, I went to one with you. Oh, that's right. Duh. <laughs> that was uh, that's right. Um, of course he did. So, anyways, Kill Tony. Um, this episode was recently. This guy is like so into feet. But it's like the dirtier, the better. Like he just yeah. loves the, the, like he just has to smell. And he actually hooked up with a girl because they brought up a girl who said, would you let him smell your feet? And he wanted to like, like lick her feet and they were like dirty and everything. And he was like all into it. I'm like, man, what the heck is going on here? Yeah. Uh, People have my, their crazy fetishes. It's yeah, not my thing. But, you know, if that's your thing, it's your thing. But Rex, uh, obviously, you know, he was inspired to ask that question. So <laughs> good old Rex. I think I met Rex once. <laughs> yeah. I had two Rexes uh, at the American Academy when I went there. Two, two of the models were named Rex. There was, oh, yeah. uh, it was white Rex and black Rex. <laughs> like, seriously, that's, that's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, yeah, you needed a lot of paper to draw black Rex. <laughs> um, hey, I want to hear about your motorcycle thing, but there's I have another question for you from All a right. fan. Questions from fans. This is uh this question comes from Crystal Slacks. Oh, perfect. I know Crystal. Do you? Yeah. Hello, Paul. My name is Crystal Slacks, and I was wondering. <laughs> uh, um, I was wondering if you're single. <laughs> you're so cute. Who are you talking to? What? I said, who are you talking to? Ew, ew, mom. I'm on the phone. <sighs> Sorry, that was my mom. So, anyways. I want you to paint me so bad. Can you make me look like a mixture of Kamala Harris and Mary Magdalene, but hotter? <laughs> Does anyone else smell burnt feathers? <laughs> she knows already. She knows. Yeah. <laughs> I've, already, I've already told her. I don't have to publicly answer that. All right, she knows. <laughs> Well, do you think you could do that? Do you think you could make her look like a mixture of Kamala Harris and and Ma Mary Magdalene? Yes. Hot, but hotter. <laughs> yes. Like, how would you create that? <laughs> With an airbrush and just let it flow. Like, maybe a pant suit. Like, I, I'm picturing like a like a woman's pant suit, but 
with like make her feet look like Converse, like Chuck Taylors. Well, and um, then where, where would the Mag- Mary Magdalene stuff come in? Like Rex, Rex was Rex a foot fetish? Okay, I can't. Remember yeah, yeah. The yeah. short term memory. Rex would be disappointed if I put Converse on there, and I want to do it for Rex. <laughs> yeah (laughs) so so what happened with with this motorcycle accident yeah see like how i forgot if rex was a foot fetish yeah like those little those little short-term memory things it's crazy um i was i was rolling by the beach i think i was going like 40 miles an hour i don't remember the accident so i'm going i'm telling you based off of you don't remember that i don't remember the accident oh my god but apparently the car did a U-turn. So if I'm going this way, up, and the car did a U-turn in front of me, and I hit the passenger side, and oh, flew no. over the car and hit my head, head first in like cement. Flew 15 feet, and <clears throat> I didn't. I don't believe I didn't black out. Or were you wearing a helmet? Yeah, of course. If I didn't have a helmet, I'd probably be dead or drooling. <laughs> and. Uh, Ugh. I don't know if I blacked out or not, but the police showed up. I was sitting on the ground talking and telling, telling them what happened. Um, I don't remember any of that. Uh, I, I sort of came to in the hospital. I don't remember the ambulance came to in the hospital. And it was like, it was like you see in the movies when you sort of open your eyes and you're being pulled into a room and you close your eyes and you open them again. And you're somewhere else. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. So that was that. So I broke, Three ribs, I broke my collarbone and I had a serious concussion. And like my bones are all healed. I had surgery, I have a plate and screws. And uh, this, my whole shoulder is numb and it's probably gonna be numb forever. Most of it or part of it at least. And, but the concussion is not really getting any better. <laughs> and it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because there are things that you like to forget, you know? So, uh, so you actually have um, like sh- you're having memory issues right now. Definitely, yeah, it's weird. I forget, I forget the littlest things. Um, I had like I, I can't really, I can't think of a story off the top of my head, but like one like I had I had submitted three artworks to a gallery, <clears throat> and I just delivered it to them, and I didn't tell anyone that I was submitting three and that I was even in this show. And then literally two hours later, another gallery was promoting my work saying, oh, check out Paul Rustan's work. He's showing three pieces in this gallery. And I was like, what? How did they know? (laughs) Like, (laughs) And so I called the gallery guy and I said, did you tell people? Or did did the assistant gallery person tell the the people? I'm like, how did they they know about this thing? We didn't tell anybody. And I was freaking out. I was like, what is going on? Like, how did that, like, I couldn't understand how that happened. And I went downstairs and told my wife, like, some, like the gallery shared that I was doing this. I don't know how they found out. And she's like, oh, you shared it on your newsletter yesterday. And I was like, oh, on my mailing list, you know? And it's oh, like, man. I just forget things. Or like, I forget, like, I might forget this whole podcast tomorrow. <laughs> Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Face the Truth. Um, Jason, so glad- good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep going in a loop. <laughs> yeah, <it's like laughs> Groundhog's Day. <laughs> I don't know. So, does, is your wife like make you get rid of the motorcycle? Like, this is it? No, I got a new motorcycle. Oh, no. my God. it's too, it's you too, <laughs> it's too nice to ride out here. Like, oh, like, like I said, I, don't, I mean, I don't remember the accident, so there's nothing for me to be afraid of, really. Yeah, but, but uh, your wife is probably like, I mean, she's she taking out some you should you I'm, change your insurance policy or something. Well, I increased it. So here's here's a good tip. <laughs> she's here's like, ride tip. more, baby. <laughs> this is a good tip that the whole world should... You're a very talented motorcycle rider. Keep, keep go out there more. <laughs> <laughs> but here's something I learned from this experience that that I I wish I knew beforehand. Um, the most impart the most important part of your auto insurance or your motorcycle insurance is the uninsured underinsured portion you want to max that out as much as you can Um, mine was minimum and the girl who i hit even though it was her fault hers was set to the minimum 
And as a result, the most I can get out of it was like 15 grand, which basically goes to the attorneys and to the hospital. So I get nothing. There's even a chance that I'm going to have to pay some money out of pocket. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. if I had that set, which I have it higher now, if I had it set to like 250,000, I'd be, I'd be banking right now. I'd have like a nice chunk of change. And uh, so I, that's a lesson learned for next time. <laughs> but so anybody you need to buy yourself like, like a, do like that a padded suit. They have those. Like, they have like, like a weird, like inflatable. It needs to be suit. like an, like a snow, like a snowmobile <laughs> suit. Um, was that guy from dumb and dumber? He's riding a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey, oh. Jim Carrey, and uh, oh my God, what's his name? Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. There you go. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Face the Truth. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Catch new episodes of Face the Truth podcast every Monday, and make sure to like and subscribe.